Nathan, respond. Yes, uh, Kapil, you are also a lawyer. Please don't behave like your namesake, Mr. Kapil Sibbal, on the floor of the house. Please maintain some decorum. This is not Lok okay. Sabha. Uh, Navika, number one. There is no harm in putting your tweeting your picture with the uh, late general. Many people did it. Those who loved him, those who met him. The simple question is, did the Congress, did Rahul Gandhi sack Mr. Sandeep Dikshit for calling General Bipin Rawat the Sadak Ka Gunda? The answer is no. They, in fact, venerated Sandeep <laughs> Dikshit. So th that's, that's the difference. But can I please come back to this? Because it seems to me that everyone in the Congress must be a doctor, given that they have taken the, pardon the pun, Hippocratic Oath. And the chief surgeon among them is, of course, Rahul Gandhi. You know, I've told this before to you, Navika. Making sense of Rahul is as easy as consuming rasam with chopsticks. But today, I'm afraid he has truly lost his, again, pardon the pun, Italian marbles. The same general who the Congress shamelessly called a sadak ka gunda is being honored and praised by them. Malak, kuch sharam baaki hai? Ya wo apni credibility ke saath kawadi mein bech di? Aur jo 20 rupay mile hai, usse baal kata liye? But as I said, Hypocrisy is second nature to the Congress and Dr. Rahul Gandhi. I'm calling him doctor from now on. After all, Navika, this is the party that promised in its manifesto to remove the APMC and amend the ECA and bringing the contract farming, but then protested against the farm laws that delivered exactly this. <laughs> this is the party that demanded Indian citizenship for Bangladeshi minorities, but protested the CA law that delivered exactly this. This is the party that abuses Hindutva day in, day out, but runs a government with those who take pride in expounding Hindutva. This is a party that does temple runs, but coins the phrase saffron terror. This is the party that opposes the communists in one state, but strikes an alliance with them in another. This is the party that doubts the surgical strikes, but says it valorizes the Indian armed forces. This is the party that abuses and mistrusts the EVMs, but runs multiple governments in India because of EVM electoral wins. This is the party that has abused and slandered Adani for years. But now, their own government today has approved a slew of measures to help Adani make billions, including 1,600 hectares of land and multiple power projects. Navika, just 10 seconds. Remember that scene in Lagan, when exasperated by translating what Elizabeth Memsab is saying in English, Ram Singh throws his arms in the air and says, Memsab, ye musse ho payega. I can't translate this. I fear my good friend Tessin faces the same exasperation. He must be throwing his arms up in the air and telling Rahul Gandhi, Doc Saab, I can't defend you on this. I quit. No, no, we will see valiant Tehseen Poonawala who I, will I, defend this also. And Tehseen, I want to ask you, amongst, amongst the many U-turns uh, that uh, Doc... Let me begin with you first. What do you make of this free-for-all unfolding in Punjab? Am I being insensitive? calling for action against those who have taken the law into their own hands. Yes, good evening, Rahul. Thank you very much for that very important primer. It really opened the eyes of all the viewers who are watching you. You see, the, the manner in which this killing for blasphemy is being normalized is distressing beyond measure. And then it dawns on you that since 2014, most instances of outrage at a lynching in a BJP ruled state were a carefully crafted narrative. Because, as is apparent in the wake of this monstrous, grisly incident, when non Hindus indulge in mob violence, when they lynch, and when they lynch, particularly in a non BJP ruled state, it is not lynching at all. It is suicide. It is justified. With the exception of Dr. Abhishek Singhvi, whom I applaud. Not a single politician cutting across party lines has condemned the lynching and demanded action. Ye hai dar ka mahal, Rahul. Ise kehte hai dar ka mahal. I applaud Dr. Sindhvi. But even there, his cries have been ignored even by his own party. Yeah. With Sidhu today demanding public hanging of blasphemers who are accused of blasphemy, as you correctly said. Not convicted, but accused. I ask you, Rahul, is there any difference between these politicians and fake activists and Pakistanis who rationalize lynchings? In fact, it is macabre to even say this, but at least in the latter's case, it is sanctioned by their holy book, 3357, 533. Yaha pe kiska sanction hai, Rahul, since 2014 in this country, a man lynched by a Muslim or a Sikh mob is considered a suicide, not murder. That is the reality. But if it was the other way around, it would not only be the murder of the victim, but of democracy and justice. That's how the gangrenous cabal has twisted the narrative. They speak truth to power, speak truth to power, but power to them is always Modi, even when hate crimes happen in non-BJP-ruled states. Take the case of Palghar. 
the ready identification of a saffron clad sadhu is not enough what if instead the victim was a skull cap wearing sherwani clad bearded maulana brought out by the up police and gifted to the lynchers with a bjp minister looking on democracy khatre mein aa jati rahul these propagandists have been silent on more than 195 muslim mob hate attacks on hindus dalits and non dalits over the past two and a half years including bharat yadav who was lynched after being called a kafir including in ranchi where a muslim mob segregated bus passengers based on their religion before wanting to set it on fire including lynching gangaram because he dared to file a police complaint when his daughter was abducted including going on a murderous rampage over alleged blasphemy by a dalit nitin including breaking breaking ambedkar statue thrashing dalit families after they objected to a dalit girl sarita being assaulted by a muslim including nearly lynching a dalit jayanti bhati for daring to wear a pathan suit none of these attacks elicit any outrage rahul just 30 seconds right from the fake church attacks narrative to running selective hate trackers they have perfected selective outrage so we know who akhlaq was but do we know rahul who was banu और खेताराम भील और सावंत राठौड़ और विदु जैन और अयूब और फारूक और भारत दिस द थर्ड केस ऑफ अ सिख मॉब एवेंजिंग अलेजेड ब्लास्फेमी इन एज मेनी मेंस थ्रू लिंचिंग विल मीट द सेम फेट सैडली बिकॉज डू वी रिमेंबर दलित लखवीर सिंह नो वेल लेट मी ब्रिंग इन मिस्टर संजय झा देर इज ऑल्सो महेश इंदर ओके डॉक्टर रंगनाथ यू हर्ड मिस्टर किंगरा योर रिस्पॉन्स Uh, no uh, with respect to mr kingra i think he's been very forthright and honest in uh, deriding the political class which is very correct so i applaud him on that but i have a very simple question for mr kingra uh, in fact two very small questions if he doesn't mind sir just yes, yes or no question number one as rahul has already asked him if as he says it is a conspiracy then surely the process of justice is better served if the conspirators and the the perpetrators are caught alive not murdered or lynched in full view of the public and number 2 as i already said mr king i just finally a very simple question to you in the case of islam the punishment for blasphemy is sanctioned in the holy quran i just said i told you that is a fact allah himself has said that if anyone abuses allah or his messenger allah has prepared a humiliating punishment and then it goes on to stay more and more so that is 3357 can you please tell me mr king with due respect to this wonderful faith of sikhism and i love the sikhs and i love the gurus if guru nanak had witnessed this kind of blasphemy according to you what kind of punishment would he have sanctioned for blasphemy mr kingra is a very simple question as a pious sikh to you dr anand i let me say if a blasphemy is committed by a person who is frustrated then it is acceptable but if the blasphemy is a part of a bigger conspiracy where the handlers are asking somebody to desecrate and the handlers are asking somebody to to finish the evidence also so that nobody can reach the handler you don't know when the when when the state acts when the when the foreign agency acts you don't know how they act they plan 10 murders and then that then you can't reach them at all so this is how they, they, he has been killed as a part of that conspiracy that you, he should be killed so that nobody can reach the handlers try to understand dr anand i have served in the government this is how the government acts not the indian government it could be a foreign agency also this is interesting sir you are saying that the people who killed the alleged blasphemer were part of the conspiracy so dr ranganathan something is very very wrong in the state of denmark so to speak yes uh, no absolutely rahul you know the questions that the ed would ask or has asked ms rai might be legitimate but the fact is that every cbi or ed raid carries the baggage of being politically motivated even if it is not and that is the problem that even sanjay ji mentioned that you know we have it is not without reason that we are so cynical because one the investigative agencies are not a political or independent they remain parrots and when you domesticate a parrot it finds its own shoulder and right now the shoulder is of prime minister modi number 2 years of trial and error have now resulted in an established recourse that those who are raided take a if the raided are businessmen they simply start or buy a media house on the side and every time they are raided their media arm cries government vendetta b if the raided are politicians they simply join the bjp from goa to manipur to bengal to karnataka every single politician when in trouble has dipped himself into this behti ganga that is the bjp then 
miraculously, yes. all leads go cold. All investigations come to a dead end. In fact, remember, Rao, just 10 seconds. Remember when BJP's Mr. GVL Narsimha Rao had wanted an ED raid, nothing less than an ED raid, uh, and had written to the Rajya Sabha Ethics Committee, alleging involvement of TDP's YS Chaudhary in court. Massive financial bungling and fraud of 5,700 crores, unquote, and sought his disqualification well, over a court. Serious breach of un uh, ethics, unquote. Well, before the Rajya Sabha could act, right. Mr. Chaudhary joined the BJP, well, forcing there you Mr. Rao to eat the humble pie.